Yo, what's good, YouTube family? Look, man, this is my second time doing this video. I had to delete the other one because I was like, a lot of y'all sensitive folks is about to get in your feelings. You about to say, I'm tripping. Even though this ain't no beef, Mo3 ain't never did nothing to me. I ain't never did nothing to Mo3. I done did enough videos telling y'all I rock with Mo3. I like Mo3. I like the music. But without cursing or using profanities, Mo3 got himself killed, gang. I'm tired of y'all lying. You know what I mean? I think I will use profanity, bro. I'm tired of lying and, and acting like niggas is crying and shit and doing all this. I don't know that nigga to be emotional like that. The only way I can get is just telling you blessings to him. And it's sad that he's gone. I wish he was alive. That's about it. Other than that, he got himself killed, y'all. Y'all can say all this about Trap Boy Freddy and this and that. But where the hell y'all was at when Mo3 was wildin'? Going crazy, brazy for years. Not just that one video he did. You know what I mean? I'm talking about years of just going in on Trap Boy. I ain't hear none of y'all speak the gospel of peace. I ain't hear none of y'all say, Mo3, you need to chill, bro. You, you doing too much disses and all that. Did Mo3 have his rights? I don't know which side did what to what side. We know the stories. We see what niggas from the streets. At least I am, because I, I ain't going to go deep on that. It's like, but... At the end of the day, it's still something on two grown ass man's game. I get in the beef out here, it's my fault. It ain't nobody else's fault, bro. I get in some serious situation. I did a dumb situation. Mo3 was in a dumb situation. I'm not saying what he did was dumb. I'm gonna let y'all judge him on that. But the whole situation could have been avoided and maybe blood was shed behind the scenes. I don't know, I ain't gonna get on the camera and say that if I don't got no given idea, and let's say if it is or was about to be. It's still a situation between two grown men. I ain't gonna sit here and cap to my audience and make it look like, oh, the world is gonna feel sorry for you and give you excuses and passes. Nah, that's just enabling a motherfucker to do dumb shit. And then when they start being deceased and all that, everybody start crying, and I'm being respectful as hell, bruh, but it's still gonna be fake people getting mad, fake people chasing clout, coming at my neck, telling me I was wrong and shit. Well, I'm wrong for telling youngsters and even older people, look, man, if you in a dumb situation and you put yourself in it, then don't cry when dumb situations happen. Facts. Y'all don't want Trap Boy Freddy to have a music career no more. That's corny, bruh. You cancel cultures be picking and choosing. That's why I don't care about about no cancel culture and all this and that, bro. The most fakest things I've seen, bro. I even came at Trap Boy Freddy. I said he doing way too much disses towards Mo3. It's getting corny now because you know the feds and them boys watching. Facts. Facts. Shout out to Big Bank, man. That, that's facts right there. Feds is watching and you talking about all this up and down. Like, slow down, little daddy. Paul, slow down, bro. We get it already, gang. You hella talented. Make other type of music. And then maybe you can go back to here from time or two. But who the fuck am I to tell Trap Boy what to say or not? Just like that video I did, he, he don't got to listen to me if he don't want to. You know what I mean? He don't got to listen to me at all. You got to be in the same situation you in over and over again, bro. This is Rasputia, bro. Crying fake storytelling ass niggas. Like that was your mama and shit. Like that was your people and them, bro. Like that was everybody you fucking love to death, bro. That, that shit is fake as hell, gang. Hold on, yeah, I'm trying to see if a nigga... Oh, okay. Never mind, then. Yeah. It's... Over here, niggas, you see, I almost just got in the beef. Y'all probably didn't even peep what just happened, how I slowed down and everything. That's me putting myself in a dumbass situation, bro. Niggas don't like hearing the truth. Niggas want to hear cat. Niggas want to be told everything is A-OK. -okay. Niggas want to be, be in a fabricated storyline, bro. I can't, bro. What Trap Boy Freddy got going on shouldn't be between us and nobody else, bro. Leave it at that. Leave it at that period, bro. You could not like him if you choose that, but to be stalking this man and not letting this man eat and feed his family like the King Vaughn and, and the Lil Dirk and, and Lil Tim and Quando Rondo situation, you see I don't pick no sides. We cover both sides. 
we we were very fair and unbiased because I don't know none of these niggas. They ain't bled for me. I ain't bled for them. They ain't crying for my mans, so I ain't crying for theirs. But it ain't no beef. It's like that ain't got nothing to do with me. So the best I can do to help both sides is be a real journalist in this bitch, bruh. Or be a real human. Like, yeah, if you ain't a YouTuber or this and that, just be a real one and know that this ain't your place, gang. You can speak on it. Everybody got a right to speak on everybody. Everybody and their mama got a fucking opinion. You know what I mean? Who the fuck am I to tell you not to have an opinion? But when you start picking sides and crying and acting like you gonna stain a nigga over another nigga you don't know, don't know anything about this nigga, Mo3 could have been one of the most creepest nigga in the world. You don't know nothing about that. You don't know what he done did to get trapped boy and I'm mad. But I do know it was one main nigga that was always on the camera. It, maybe he had a right to, maybe he did it. I ain't saying that part. I'm just saying it was one nigga always on the camera and that was goddamn Mo3. I'm talking about every goddamn second he couldn't waste the time to get on that hoe and say what he had to say. And I ain't gonna fake like I ain't watch it. I watched that bitch. It was entertainment. I ain't gonna fake it like I said, hey, Mo3, chill before they kill you. I didn't say nothing like that. So why fake it now and act like I was just positively when he was alive and I was trying to make peace between him, BZ, and Trap Boy? I ain't did it. So I ain't gonna stop and, and being fake so I can get a couple of views or got you niggas loving everything I do. No, bro, I'm a human being, bro. You only gonna hear the truth. Sometimes you're gonna hear the truth that might make you be weak enough to hit that dislike button. I can't control it. I ain't gonna hide my likes and dislikes. I, I, I'm like the only YouTuber who don't do that. And if my likes and dislikes get hidden, it's cause I'm playing a, a game. But when the last time I even did that corny shit, bro, and then, yeah, I don't mind playing the game with my trolls, but on this video, I don't care if it incites you to hit that dislike. It just shows you who you really are as a human being in person. And I get to pat myself on the back continuously why I live how I live and refrain and stay away from what I choose to stay away from. This is factual. Factual. I, I can't take it, bro. I see this boy, Trap Boy Freddy, on the Instagram two days ago. And he got to tell y'all, like, he going to just keep blocking y'all. And I'm thinking, hey, Trap Boy, when you say you're going to have to keep blocking them, they just going to come in the droves more, gang. It's like you let them catch that dub while you catch that L, bro. I'm going to let you know, bro. Ignore them, bro. With the likes and the dislikes, multiply with each other, bro. That's just how many folks in them watching you, gang. You don't got to get in your feelings. I mean, I understand we humans. Sometimes I, I I be stressed out with the trolls. Just like I'm going to talk to the Mo3 sides. When you see the trolls getting to you and saying this and that about Mo3, that's getting y'all emotional. Look at it as you always going to get a different side saying A, B, C, D, and E. Sometimes all the way carry that bitch to Z, bruh. Carrying that bitch all the way to Z, my nigga. You can't control that, bruh. Let, let. Let it be, my nigga. That's the best I can tell you, bro. Like, rest in peace to Alex Trebek, bro. This ain't Jeopardy's, my nigga. This ain't answering a, answering an answer with a question, if it makes sense. You know what I mean? It, this ain't that funky style, bro. It's just a nigga been in a situation that was a dumb situation, whether we think it was real, fake, this and that. Situations are always starting off dumb, and then real shit happen like niggas dying and shit. It just always been like that. It's always been like that, bro. When did shit change? That's why I want y'all to tell me. When did things just switch around and it became the trickle rule, bro? Oh, I ain't know it was. Nah, nigga, it always been you play a stupid game, you win a stupid. I don't even got to finish the sentence. You know what you win, bro. Just like I played enough stupid games in my life. Thank you, God, I ain't dead. I ain't even a gangster. So I can imagine what a gangster nigga go through. You know what I mean? Because just growing up from the hood, you got to be on your P's and Q's. Because I be seeing niggas on the comment sections be like, bless one ain't no street nigga. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't no gangster. Because what the fuck I told you niggas I'm a, I'm a, this gangster nigga blowing down doors and all that. Pause. I told you I was born and raised in the hood, you weird nigga. So let me get this right. So if we're born in the hood, 99% of us are shooting, killing, drilling, and all that. You niggas is idiots. In the hood, it's probably 20 to 30%, not even 30%, maybe 15 to 20% of the killers, drillers, and people selling the drugs and all that. That's it, gang. So what about the other 80%? You know what I mean? 
What you think they doing, the 80 to 85%? You think all of us is copying the drug dealers and all that? No, we just get street smarts out here, dumbass niggas, but we still face the same consequences of dying. Them shots, when they miss Pookie and Ray Ray, it hit niggas like me. Or you got beef with my cousin and my brothers because they are the Pookies and Ray Rays. I'm affiliated automatically because where I live at, who's my brothers, who's my friends I grew up with, raised with. Nigga, you idiots. That's the aspect I speak from, nigga. That's the third per person point of view I speak from. That's the real you're going to get, bro. Uncut period, bro. Educational purpose style. This nigga Mo3, rest in peace to him all the way, bro. I say that respectfully. Rest in peace to Mo3. I ain't gonna cap here. Mo3 is a grown man that got himself in a grown man situation. A grown man that put him in a put himself in a grown man position. Factual. I ain't capping for Trap Boy. You know what I mean? Trap Boy Freddy got himself in a situation where he should have known what the fans was gonna do. He should have known people are gonna have fake emotions. People are gonna be fake as hell and pick sides. He should have known most of y'all ain't real. Most of y'all gonna get on here and ride for Mo3 like you've been riding for him forever. But y'all ain't been down for Mo3 when I was riding for him. Where was you niggas at? When Mo3 needed niggas to buy them CDs and mixtapes, where were you niggas at, bruh? I ain't see you niggas nowhere. Now everybody in love with Mo3. I've been rocking Mo3 um, since he's been going through all them Fed cases and regular state cases. Tell me if I'm lying or not. He, and he by the grace of God, he beat them. With all them cases, I think he been would have been popping. But it was the beef that made him popping. So I, I'm pretty sure, damn sure, Mo3 know what situation he put himself in and know what could have, would have, should have got and happened. It is what it is, man. That's not meaning I don't feel sorry that happened to him. He got kids out here, you know what I mean? Son look just like him, just like my sons look like me. I do feel bad, but I ain't gonna sit on this hoe, act like I'm crying and shit. I don't know this man from nowhere, bro. From nowhere. I don't know this nigga from nowhere, you know what I mean? You gotta understand the situation at hand. God giveth and God takes. God giveth and God takes, bro. I think I explained this enough, bro. And if you feel like you're one of these emotional, zestified type of capitalized, sir capitalized, and miss capitalized ass Negrumps out here, bro, then I leave it to you being your feelings, bro. I can't help an emotional female and an emotional nigga out here, bro. I can't help you at all, bro. I got to leave you to yourself and your feelings, bro. And if, if you feel like doing something to me, because I'm keeping it real on what happened, bruh. I feel like you weak as hell. Use How about using that energy since you love Mo3 so much and go find the guys who did that to him. Go use that energy, conserve it away from me and go get your lick back since you want to fake like you got a real beef with me. Fake it like I did something to Mo3 because I said, oh, all these fake people crying need to leave Trap Boy Freddy alone. If you ain't Mo3 and them people, if you ain't nobody tied in, then sit your dumb ass down. That's factual. Super facts. Only people who should be speaking on it is Mo3 and them people. That's it. Who is you? What, 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 what your ties in this, bruh? It just, it's just a cap clout chaser, bro. That's all it is, bruh. I got to look at Trap Boy Freddy do his lives, and, and I don't watch it like that. But when I do tap in or whatever, just like I tapped in the Mo3, facts. I got to see fake emotional people. Oh, we going to find you and we going to do this and that. And that ain't even Mo3 and them people doing all that, bro. People talking about, bro, why you on live? But you watching him. But you watching him, gang. I don't know, bro. A lot of street testify niggas doing homework that they shouldn't be doing, bro. Ain't no telling, bro. Ain't no telling, bro. I see a clean, a, a clean Gucci uh, carpet. I should try to cop for the family, but I'm, I'm, I'm out this bit, man. I'm out, bro. Like at the end of the day, bro, grown men get themselves in a grown situation. Your crocodile tears can't change the outcome of a situation that happened. The best you can do is learn from it and move smart and swiftly out here. That's all I can tell you, bro. Ain't no crocodile tears here today, bro. I can't, bro. And I'm gonna be rocking to his music right now. I don't even play Kevin Gates part. I just let Mo3 rock out, bro. I can proudly say I was a fan of Mo3 and I got his music and all my kids know his music way, way before he popped and way before he died. Can you fake folks say the same thing? You fake folks clicking on the dislike. Can you say the same thing? You've been rocking with his music. You've been rocking with him before this death situation occurred and happened. 
right. I'm your God-blessed one, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, gang, and stay dangerous out this bitch.